Hello, my name is Mordred Viking. I'd like to welcome you to episode 32 of this Let's Play European of Asalis IV as the custom nation of Stormwind. We are at war. We have finally attacked the Netherlands once again. We hopefully will consolidate our holdings over here in the Netherlands. <laughs> we are currently fighting a battle over here in the Channel, trying to stop a Brittany army from getting onto our lands, which would be pretty bad. Speaking of which, I've noticed I have not turned off any of our castles over here, because we do not need them. So just quickly go through and switch all of those off. We do, however, want to keep the ones in the Netherlands on. Right. In the last episode, we were focusing quite heavily on colonial work down here. Aragon is trying to cut us off quite clearly and are expanding far more rapidly than I would like. We need to consolidate what we have here. We need to get these two so that we can have one contiguous territory and then we can start fleshing it out and hopefully getting down here before Aragon does. It's a race. It's a definite colonial race. And currently I would say they are winning. In fact, Alecio has finally got a colonial nation here as well. Who's that? Netherlands got, a ne got one. Well, that might become the Netherlands very shortly, because I'm about to take the rest of their territories. Probably. I might not take Brabant, because it's not in the same um, trade zone as these ones, and I don't particularly want the aggressive expansion. Speaking of which, I should really check to see how our standing with the rest of Europe is. We have got zero aggressive expansion with anyone, so we can expand as much as we like. And we do, of course, have claims on these territories already, so it will hurt a lot less than the previous war. In the previous one it was a justified trade conflict, so the Casus Belli is different, and different Casus Bellis have different requirements and different like advantages. So with that one you could get a... Um, you could force them to give you trade power far more cheaply, while in this one this is purely a war of conquest, so it's all about taking the territory. We've taken a hint. Good. The other thing we need to do is look out for the Brunswick and Lubeck armies, they are not really on the march. Um, maybe they are. This guy is moving down. We have sunk their transports. So that means Brittany is unable to invade us, so we'll move our ships back over here. They might still try an amphibious landing, but they do have a contiguous border through this Picardy land because we have a military access, which means that they do too. So we just need to keep troops basically in easy reinforcement range. Do I have a general down here? Does not look like it, does it? So I need to get a general. We have enough military power. Maybe I should hire a proper one. Let's see. We only have 10 army tradition. This is part of the problem. Is Our army just kind of sucks. <laughs> Except for the discipline. We, we have a lot of discipline, thanks to the uh, national idea. But army tradition we are struggling with. So Finnabar is our current... Ruler. He has been in power for a year, so he has another three years before he gets kicked out. We'll keep it with him. Their armies are so small that we don't really need the better leader to kind of clinch the fight. Um, we probably want them blockading here, actually. Because we do have our light ships who are actually um, protecting trade still in Lubeck. So any Lubeck ships that pop out will be fighting 54 uh, light ships with the various bonuses that we have given them. Which I think we have. Yeah, they have 10% more combat strength thanks to the maritime ideas, of course. So we are now just waiting for these to tick over. We have a Brittany army marching there, so we are going to try and intercept, are we? No, we'll stay here. Um, or will we? But yeah, of course we can intercept with these guys. So they have 10,000 men sitting there. So I need to be kind of in easy reinforcement range, so I need to be very, very quick about what I do down here. Because they are clearly marching to try and help. And they have attacked the stack up here, which is unfortunate. We need you guys to march super quick. We lost. Oh, we got stack wiped? Really? I did not expect that to happen. They only had 10,000 against our 7,000. That should no way have been a stack wipe. And they could have retreated. I don't understand why that happened. It should not have. I am going to hire a leader. I need one. Oh man, he's crap. And if this doesn't stack wipe them, then I'll be really, really ticked off. Because we hugely outnumber them. 
if that's what caused it last time. Uh, yeah, we'll repay the loan. Nope, of course it didn't. I. Why did they stack wipe us? I don't understand that. Strange. Well, Zalant at least is continuing. We've got our army back here. We're still on 0% because we have a lot of cannon. We did lose a bunch though. Uh, we'll worry about rebuilding our army when this war is over. We have more than enough troops to, to fight this. They're trying to siege us, but we still have our castles in both Antwerp and in Holland. So they're not really going to be very effective at sieging us. We're going to consolidate, we're going to split off, and we're going to attack them. No, don't go over the strait. That's just ridiculous. Go through there. Wait, what? Why? Oh, because of that castle. Okay. Um, in that case, we'll just stay here. I'm quite happy to let them reinforce, I think. Man, this leader really sucks. One shock, one maneuver. Great. Okay, so we could get some technologies. We probably should wait for this one. And that is a plus five naval morale. That is actually pretty significant, so we may wait for that as well. Our score is going up. We are now in the top 10 in military, thanks to our army now actually being of a decent size. Plus, one thing which I don't particularly like about the uh, military score is it kind of takes into account whether you have your maintenance at full or not. So if you're not at war, then you're basically not going to be in the rankings unless your army is truly gargantuan. We have one Utrecht, and just in time. So we're going to go and cut them off in Breda. Expand the bodyguard. Gain a stability, which would be nice for 10 tradition, or just gain 5 tradition. I'm going to take the stability. That's a very, very expensive stability piece to take. So yes, I'm quite happy for that. Now this icon here with the cannon means that we have too many cannon compared to infantry. You can see we have 13,000 over 9,000. So that is a pretty good indicator of like what units are strongest. So here you can see it's an infantry piece, so the infantry are the most dominant there. So this is bad. Having too many artillery is its not good. We need more infantry to balance this out, otherwise we'll have uh, cannons fighting in the front row. Thankfully, because these armies are so small, that's probably not going to happen. Um, but it's a problem if we ever come across any like more significant forces. Stack wipe? Yeah, good. And we have now occupied all of the Netherlands, I believe, so let's go and start doing some damage to Lubeck. And in fact, we should go and kill them too. Go and kill them. Go and siege that. Would the Netherlands peace out at this point? Probably not, because their ally is still in the fight. No, I didn't think so, and I want all of your money. And I want to force your religion, which I definitely can't do. Never mind. I want reparations, I cannot humiliate them anymore. Do I want to make them a vassal? No, because I want the land itself. Okay. And I don't really want the extra um, diplomatic thing. So we will detach them and move on. We'll send them to reinforce. We'll attack there. Now, I probably shouldn't have done that until our infantry arrived, but we're still okay. That time we did stack wipe them. Marvellous. So we will detach. 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 Move there. Group. Detach. Move there. The Netherlands wants peace. They will see Zeeland. And that's it. Dream on. Ostfriesland is under our control. Good. Group. Detach. Move there. Osnabrück is ours. Good. We have Oldenburg, good. That is Westphalia, that is not Lübeck. So we are currently just kind of blanket sieging Lübeck. I wonder what we can get out of Lübeck, I was thinking of it. We could probably make them sign a... Ah, we should make them give us their trade power. Because then our trade here would be way more powerful, because I'm going to guess that Lubeck has the majority. Actually, we do. But yeah, Lubeck has a significant amount, so if we make them give us their 
trade power, then we would merge, and we can shift a ton more money into the English Channel and then make a healthy profit out of it. And if we can split out any countries as well, that would be even better. It will curtail their power quite significantly. Although I'm not entirely averse to having a powerful Lubeck here. I'm right next to Sweden, so if they did try anything against us, then Sweden would jump on them. Brunswick has a civil war, and we are currently at war with Brunswick. What a shame for them. Oh, no we're not, sorry. Oh, they are at war with someone, though. Pilsen, Palatin, and Calabria. That's not going to end well for you. I'm afraid to say. We have Lundberg. I'm just reinforcing here in case they try anything sneaky. We have got Brabant. No. Oh, they freed Brabant. That's annoying, though not massive. We'll wait until we take Bremen, and then we'll go and siege that stuff back. In fact, we can just go and start that now. Netherlands wants peace. Zeeland still only. I don't want just Zeeland. I want more. Because they still have allies in the war who are still like high war enthusiasm, they don't want to peace out yet, they're hoping their allies can basically bail them out of this fight. That's not going to happen. Let's see if Lubeck wants peace though, because we are hurting them not very much yet. So basically this war just needs to last a bit longer. Which is totally fine. I can do that. Is Normandy in our trade zone? It is. See, eventually I would basically like everything here in orange. So this entire coastline. That will definitely upset Picardy. But at this point, do I really care? Picardy does not actually claim. They have a claim on it, but they don't consider it vital. I could well take that off of Brittany. It'd be hard to hold, though, because there's nothing adjacent to it. And I don't really want any more of this Brittany stuff, only the Picardy. Uh, is that worth doing or not? Probably, because ultimately this alliance will not last. I don't think. Oh, come on. Hurry up with this siege. 49% chance. In fact, I'm just going to split you off and crush. A new settlement, so we can gain prestige or one tax. I'm going to take the tax, thanks. Speaking of which, I should do another round of development. I won the Siege of Roman, good. Go and reinforce, though I doubt you're needed. Nope, another stack wipe, lovely. Oh, and they're attacking us, and we are winning. We probably don't need reinforcements down there, nah, I don't think so. So, Picardy's opinion improves. <coughs> as does the Aragonese colony near us. Or we get a diplomatic insult on Picardy. I'm going to do that one. So I probably don't need to reinforce that. Let's just go and crush some more of Lubeck and kick them out of this war as soon as possible. Uh, repay. Extend. Detach. It's still making money while we're fighting. That's kind of hilarious. Detach and then go to Hamburg and we'll do the main siege there. Kent is ours. Whoa, who's that? Oh, you little bastards. Actually, you can have Brabant. That's totally fine by me. I will leave you, Brabant. Is, is that who you're actually attacking? Yes, it is. So, we need to leave you there to make sure that none of this other stuff falls, because that would be really, really bad. Yo, Lubeck. How are you feeling about this war? Because I don't... Well, I could start demanding things from you soon. What could I do to you? I could make you return a bunch of cores to Hamburg, to Jutland. <coughs> that nation I'd almost forgotten about. <coughs> I could force you to release a bunch of nations. I'm not too bothered about that. I do, I think, want to do the transfer trade power. So I need 60% war score for that. So I'm going to need 70, basically, for these two, plus whatever money I can get out of them. I'd quite like to make you change religion, but that's not going to happen. You're far too Catholic, or far too big, to force you to do that. Stard has become ours. Good. Once we have Lundberg, I might send these guys down to face off against Brittany. Yeah, that's fine. 
10,000, 14,000, entirely reasonable. Nope. So I'm going to try and take that from Brittany. I'm going to try and do some economic damage to Lubeck, which will improve my own odds. Normandy probably doesn't contribute very much trade power. No, it doesn't. It's only a 1-1-1. One, one, one. But it's grassland, so it's cheap to develop. We now have 8,000 men here. We could get a leader. We will get a leader. We'll attack them, because we outnumber them. We have more discipline, we have more morale, and we have more tactics. So basically, we're more better. <laughs> and we can absolutely squish that one cavalryman, because he's not going to have the uh, combined arms penalty. Which means they have... What is the penalty? Sort of told me here. Um, not sure, but it's bad. You don't want to get that insufficient uh, arms thing. And that's determined by your tech group. So the more technologically advanced you are. We had a truce with Aragon, did we? When were we? Oh, because they broke their alliance with us. Right. Mercantilism for Republican tradition. Man, our Republican tradition is just getting tanked. So tempting just to try and switch to a monarchy, to be honest. No, I'll stick with it. That siege won't last much longer. We still have... Well, we're actually a bit short on manpower now. Oh, their army's on the march. I'll wait until they're locked in, and then I will intercept and squish. And then we'll detach troops here, and then go and take Lubeck. Can I detach and move? Oh, I can. I'll take Holstein. Can we move further? No, we can't. Okay. Um, detach, move there. No, stay there. Normandy has come under our occupation. Good. Lubeck is now on low, so we can probably piece them out. I want from you reparations and... What was it? Oh yeah, trade power. I'm going to need, well, a lot. Fine. War continues. And Brittany, I want a lot less from you, but I've done a lot less damage to you, so I want that. I need at least 10 war score with you. I can do that. I can go and kill you. Well, no, cancel that. Okay. Um, why can't I get there? Get See, I really don't like this. It seems that forts block territory in territory which isn't theirs. So I have to go through Nantes, or I have to wait until Utrecht takes out Nantes. So I'll wait here until that falls and then I'll move. I can do that. You have got no infantry whatsoever. That is actually a terrible army. Uh, you move there, you stay there. If that had been only artillery, then that would be an even worse. In fact, the artillery should be in here doing the siege. Peace offer from Lubeck. They will give us their income. No, I want more. Lubeck are a regional power. I need to weaken them. Though, not much. I'm being blockaded? Oh, right, they're blockading their own provinces with their own fleet. Fine. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're actually making money while we just sit here, because we're looting it. That was another Cossacks thing. Each province now has a looting mechanic, much the same way that Crusader Kings do, uh, 2 does. And the longer you sit in the province, the more money you take out of it, which is then transferred into your own bank account. The more cavalry you have in a province, the faster the looting happens. The more development there is, the more total loot you can get. And looting, apparently, is actually really bad for economics. It takes a while to recover, and while you're doing it, your province is basically rubbish. We can level up in admin. I don't want to do that. I'm not going to go all out on development just yet because I actually want to core things when I take them. And there will be three provinces, four provinces to core. Who is this? Lubeck and Netherlands. No. Come on. We have gained colonialism against Aragon. Not surprising. 
Um, there we go, Utrecht is now fighting, they have taken Nantes, we will go into Moriban just to make sure we get it, and we'll go and assist them up here. Though it doesn't look like they need it, they don't. We'll move into Amor and hopefully kill their army. Yep, stack wipe, because it won't be the end of the month. Boom. Victory is ours. Except we could still take Gascoigne. Okay, onwards. How long? 56%. In fact, I could have you over here. Hopefully sink some of them. We're still in... Oh yeah, we're easily in our supply ship range. Particularly now that we have Holland. We have won the Siege of Lubeck. Marvellous. Oh, oh yeah, we caught them. One heavy, three lights, one galley versus ten heavies. <laughs> this is so one-sided, it's not even funny. Yeah, I thought you might run away. Group detach. Group, detach. Didn't need to group you, move you back there. Schleswig has come under our occupation. Of course it has. So, Lubeck, you will now accept this peace deal. Quite happily, actually. Um, none of these are... Oh, Friesland is. I could take Friesland. I think I will. That would be very nice of you. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. <laughs> And you can return a bunch of cores just because oh, it's going to cost me diplo power. Screw that. Releasing nations does too. Don't care. An old treaties with. Wait, this is with the Netherlands. I want the treaty with Lubeck in particular. You're going to do that. You're going to give me free slant. No, you're not. Um, I can make the Netherlands do that. Uh, no, I can't because I'll have pieced them out. How much will this cost me? 86. I need more war score. The war goes on. Gascogne is mine. That was down here in France. Oop. How's Brittany feeling about this war? You do not want to give me Normandy because I need at least 10 war score. And you are apparently making money still. Gain 15 prestige for free. Love that event. Or any event that gives free stuff is usually pretty good, I think. I cannot move there. Have to take Mitchellant first. I hope I'm saying that right. These Germanic names or Danish names or Swedish names or whatever, they're sort of the Germanic like, language group. I, I usually have a pretty good idea. Oh wait, Sealant is that one. Currently called Sealant, although I thought that was actually Sealant in Danish. This is Danish culture. Dunno. Lubeck, so this would be a, what, German country? Election. We want another bureaucrat, I think. Although we need to start working on the ideas. Because we're about to get a third group and we still have two which are not done yet. We could get military and start really pushing ahead in that just to finish this out so we get the attack uh, cost. I'm going to do that. Nope. Um, I should really send the cannons. Oops. Select cannons, move there. And that should make that siege go much faster, although we do now have a blockade going much better. Once we've taken Midjylland, that should give us a lot more um, against Lubeck in particular. And then we hopefully can take some land from them. Ah, they've pieced out Brittany. So we're going to go and sit on their capital. So we're not because we can't get to it because of... I don't know. That was kind of weird. We have finished another colony. Great. So we're immediately going to sh shift our colonists to there. In fact, I'm kind of tempted to get the fourth colony going there just so we completely do stop them. I'm going to do that. That is a very good idea. Where is our current colonist? He is in Gubianka, we call. And then we'll send you to Isan. Which will mean that we have this entire seaboard as soon as those two arrive. Which will be very nice. That's precisely what I wanted. And then we can start probably cutting down here to try and stop them. Maybe take these. We have one. Mid Jotland, Jotland. Don't know. 
now we can move across. Where's their castle? It would be the... In fact, Sialant is not a capital, so it probably doesn't have a castle. 25 autonomy on Antwerp, or local unrest. That depends on how unhappy you are right now. Not including the religious... Uh, no, not religious. War exhaustion, because that's going to burn off anyway. So you are currently at minus 2.3. We have high intolerance. Oh, I'm going to have to start culture converting, because I made those things a lot worse and actually a lot cheaper too. I'll take the autonomy. I burn that off quickly enough on the kingdom. Group, detach, move. Detach, move. Uh, repay. Detach, move. Okay, so... Lubeck, you really should want out of this war now. Nope, still not. Okie dokie. <coughs> we have Ceylant. Why can't I move there? Oh, because they've moved out the... <laughs> wow, that, that's... Oh, I pushed them out of the port because I took it. So they are currently fighting 64 of my ships. That is basically my entire navy. They do have an admiral, which I don't. But I have just have overwhelming numbers. We stack wiped them. Not surprising. Oh, we captured a galley. I don't want a galley. I don't do anything really in these seas. Oh, I see. I have to wait until he gets to his position. Then I can do that. Then I can delete you. Okay. Uh, colonists have not arrived yet. That's why our income hasn't sunk. It should go down to about plus five. How many loans do we actually have left? Can't be many. Four. Fantastic. Yeah, our economy is really booming right now. I think that is kind of what happens. Once you reach a certain stage, then the economy just kind of hums along. So I'm completely stuck. <laughs> because of Nantes controlling these territories, I'm now stuck in Amor. Fine, I won't take Normandy. I might just piece them out then. No, you don't want to be pieced out. In that case, I will just take your land when I piece out with the Netherlands, because they will give it to me. I'll have enough war score with them. Brittany has occupied Normandy. That's annoying. Can I move back? No, of course I can't. Right, where are my ships. Why are you... Oh, man. Yo, transports, where are you? Come and pick us up, please. Because I do not want to let that siege happen. Get on the boats. And hurry up with these sieges, please. That would be really, really nice. In fact, those sieges are not going to end because I have less than a thousand men in them. So we will split off a regiment and send them to reinforce. And that should help. If there's less than a thousand even in these no-fought provinces, then that'll just take the extra time. And we've just lost that province to rebels, which means that Utrecht is probably going to jump in and take it. No, because they're outnumbered. Huh. Okay, we'll move to Holland. We have taken Fonen, Fonen, whatever. Come on, Lubeck. Just, just give up. Thank you. Right, so they are going to give us Friesland, they're going to give us money, they're going to give us war reparations, and they are going to do the trade power. Good. Let's get our army moving into Fenry territory so we don't get exiled, although it won't really matter because Holland is right there. We just need to get there basically before Utrecht tries to do anything weird. <coughs> and as soon as we're out of their territory we will uh, make that peace deal. And then we'll see what the Netherlands wants. Still making money. Has not arrived. That final claim that we had going, which is dramatically slowed when you're at war with someone, but if it's already going, then great. You guys need to move there. Pronto. As do you. Okay, let's group you. Let's detach. 
five, six, seven, eight. Just detach that and then send you to kill them. Once you get there, I need you to get a leader, please. Thank you. We'll go there. To stop this siege, then we'll go and squish Brittany, and then we'll go and take um, Normandy back. And let's see if the Netherlands is willing to peace out. Oh wait, Lubeck first. Yo, Lubeck. I want the stuff that we have already agreed on. We are way ahead. Can you squeeze some more money? Yes, you can. Marvellous. That's one war done. We need to go and convert Friesland. We will do the conversion first. Now you guys need to go and squish him. Netherlands. I want that. I can't take it because I need to control it. Fine. There's no fort there, so I can control it pretty easily. <coughs> I now control both ends of that straight, so I can cross whenever I like. Bonus. And this war is now as good as over, and we can repay another loan. Down to three. We're only paying 1.7 interest now. Which has freed up a lot more of our income, which was already amazing. Speaking of which, trade is now 55%. We are now pushing eight ducats a month into the English Channel, and then that is being uh, doubled thanks to our trade efficiency. So we are making a small fortune out of trade there. Yes, marvellous. Marvellous, marvellous, marvellous. <coughs> Now we just need to wait for this siege to end, which won't take too long. Which will then mean I can take Normandy in this peace deal, which they probably give me because I'm not after Brabant. And we do have a 92% uh, peace already. Probably because of the battles. Yes. And the we own the war goal. That, that could actually improve more. Okay, so Netherlands. How about you give us this? Oh, you're willing to accept that? That's lovely. Could I do anything else to you? Like change your religion? No. War operations already getting them. Trade power? Don't care because you won't have any left. Be able to concede Noranor to Stormwind. Oh, is that their colony? No, that's Slefuge. Slef Where's Noranor? Oh, how can you give me Noranor? It's Anhalt, not yours. What? I guess that just means the colony's in Noranor. Which... I guess is that tr colony region? Ah, okay. So yeah, they will give me that province, which is fine, because we already have a colony here, so it will be added to that. It's isolated, but hey, land is land. I'm not going to turn that down. Which will mean that the Netherlands will probably be wiped out when Brabant falls to Utrecht, which it will, probably. So I'm going to accept this peace deal. Boom. And Stormwind has grown once again. Marvellous. Anyway, that is the end of this episode. Thank you very much for... Actually, before I do that, I'm going to call these. We do have a bit of war exhaustion, but I want to just get that done before I forget, because I totally will forget. We'll do the idea. Will we do an idea? No, we won't do an idea. We will, however, go up a military attack. Boom. New cavalry and new cannon. Always nice. And ideas. That was diplomatic, which I could actually do... No, I'm going to wait for that because I want the 20% uh, trade efficiency. The other thing I was going to do very quickly is do 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 do. Do I have full estates? Yes, I have a development. So I'm going to spend the rest of my admin on development. How long until that missionary is done? 15%. Fine. Cost. <laughs> And that's all of that done. Just out of interest. 
How's this looking now? Oh yeah, much healthier. The UK is looking really quite wealthy compared to much of the rest of the world where everything is kind of, well, no, Southern France is quite nice. But it pays off, like, doing that. Definitely does pay off. Anyway, that really is the end of this episode. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you've liked what you've seen, please do like and subscribe to this channel. It helps out a massive amount. It really does. If you have any tips or advice, please leave a comment. I do read them all, and I try to respond where I can. I always really like hearing back from you, so please do that if you are so inclined. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.